This is a really special project for me because I've known this kitchen for about, you know, 16 years. This is long-term friends of ours, very close friends. This is the first place I brought my daughter after she was born. I know the kitchen is a little bit dated and it's obviously cramped and lacking in storage and all of those things, but there's such a charm to it and I think that's because of the people who live here. And so one of the challenges with this renovation will be to make it cleaner, more modern, bring it up to speed, but maintain that character. And uh, I'm really excited about doing that. So now, four months later, here it is. One of the things I always do in a small space is get rid of corners, L shapes, because often that corner cabinet is not very accessible. So we created a galley. There was a wall here with a little bit of a peekaboo window. That's all gone. So we got rid of that L shape. It allowed us to run the dishwasher here and keep the sink underneath the window. Getting rid of that wall did so much for the flow because even though this is a separate space, it's wide open to the dining room. And so there's so much actual space now in the center of the kitchen. This side of the kitchen is the working side of the kitchen with the sink, the range, and actually one of the biggest things we did was we flipped the range to this side of the room. So now it's such a focal point. I mean, this is just such a stunning piece and we've got a very simple range hood. I think all cooks appreciate a proper range hood and this Thermador piece is perfect. It balances this beautiful, beautiful range. I love this so much. I'm like, I'm having total kitchen envy. The plumbing runs through here and there was some ductwork as well. It used to be a much bigger bulkhead, but Karen and Mike invested the time and the money to get this reconfigured because even though it doesn't seem like much, this is fantastic counter space and it gives us actual separate garbage area, which, which to me is, is a real luxury. You can see with the style, we've stayed very, very classic. We want this kitchen to look beautiful 10, 20 years from now, and I think it will. So we've got the subway tile all the way to the ceiling with the dark grout. We've got the Carrera marble and these gorgeous shaker cabinets from Mooty Kitchens. The width of this kitchen did not allow us to have a separate island. So instead, we've run this here as a breakfast bar, which is a great place just to have a cup of coffee, sit down, maybe have your breakfast. We've tried to make use of every space. So we've got a little cubby under here for all the components for the TV. This opens nicely and is accessible from here. This entire side of the kitchen is all storage and obviously the fridge, the wall oven, and then we've got this fantastic bonus over here, which is a bar area, another prep area. This is an entirely new prep space. And this was Karen's brilliant idea to flip the staircase. The old stairs you used to have to access from over there. So by moving them here, we've got a long counter, a wine fridge, and these gorgeous floating shelves. While we were at it, we actually did a little bit of a makeover in the back landing. And this is actually a really important space in this house because it walks to the backyard and there's a lot of entertaining that goes on in the backyard in the summer. The doors are new, we elongated them, and we put in a little bit of fun jewelry, I'd say, with this chandelier from Lamp Cage. I have to say, I love this storage pantry. It's just, it's got the French doors and actually it houses all of the dishes, which is great. We decided to make it separate by having little bun feet rather than running the toe kick the whole way and we've kind of got it framed as its own separate thing. Of course, one of the biggest sort of impactful things we did was remove the old terracotta tile from here and run hardwood all the way through, which makes the entire space feel so much bigger and it's such a warm feeling and it gives you the opportunity to have a gorgeous rug like this. It was really important that this kitchen be relevant to the rest of the household. So we didn't want it to be too modern or too trendy. So it's definitely very classic. And also it needed to reflect Karen and Mike's character. And I really think that it's a perfect representation of that.